So you're going to have your basic disposables, your HVE, your air water syringe, and your saliva ejector. Your basic instruments are the mouth mirror, the explorer, and the cotton pliers. You'll be putting the x-rays of the patient on the x-ray viewer for the doctor. You'll be using the cotton swab to place topical anesthetic on the area. And then the doctor will be using local anesthetic to get the patient numb. Once the patient is numb, you'll be using the high-speed handpiece with doctor's choice of burrs to open the tooth. If you get close to the nerve of the tooth, you're going to be using the slow-speed handpiece with the contra angle and a latch-type burr to clean the area. Once you're done with that, you're going to use the spoon excavator to remove any decay or debris from the area. Then you're going to go in and use the hand carving instruments. This is the Wheedlestat chisel, the straight chisel, the bin angle chisel, the hatchet, and the gingival margin trimmer. Once the cavity prep has been refined, if you got close to the nerve, you would use the dical applicator with the dical as an insulating base for the, for the tooth. If you're using um, it, doing an interproximal filling, you'd be placing the Toffelmeyer matrix band and wedge. And you're going to use a cotton pellet and apply some copolite, which is a cavity varnish, which seals the tubules of the teeth. You're going to get the amalgam and put it in the triturator. It's going to mix the amalgam. And you're going to dump it into the amalgam well. Using the amalgam carrier, going to pack it all in, pass this to the doctor, and pass him the condensing instrument, which will condense the filling into the cavity prep. And you're going to be passing him back and forth the amalgam carrier and the condenser until the doctor is satisfied that it's been filled. You're going to use the acorn burnisher to carve any anatomy on the top of the tooth. Then you will be removing the, the matrix and Toffelmeyer and wedge if you've been using that. You'll use the Hollenbeck carver to carve the interproximal surfaces and the cleoid discoid or discoid cleoid, whatever you want to call it. Uh, to be carving the um, occlusal anatomy. The doctor will then check the bite to make sure that it's not too high. If it is too high, he'll go back with the discoid cleoid and adjust the filling. Then he will smooth it with the ball burnisher, get the tooth nice and smooth. And he will check the interproximal surfaces with the floss to make sure there's no overhangs. And you're going to rinse the patient out really, really well, get all of the amalgam scrap out of there and you're going to tell the patient to not chew on it for 24 hours as the filling material needs 24 hours to set and if they bite on it, they will crack it. And then you will send them up front to get their next appointment. Ta-da! <laughs>